People say, I want to lose weight, but I've never actually heard somebody say, what I really want to do is lose a lot of muscle and stay as fat as possible. Of the weight loss, how much have we typically seen with fasting that is fat mass versus lean mass? So studies of extended fasting have shown that the ratio of lean mass lost to fat mass lost is very high. Lean losses are typically accounting for one half to two thirds of total weight loss. When we're talking to our patients, we want to limit lean loss to a quarter of the weight loss. And if someone is going to do fasting, are there ways that they can potentially save some of that lean mass? while fasting. Yeah, I mean, I think resistance training or supplementation with small amounts of protein during the fast can mitigate muscle loss. Now, you're, you're listening to this, you're saying, well, wait a minute, how could you eat protein if you're fasting? And you're right, you're not. It's called a protein sparing fast. So if you did something like that, and maintained resistance training, you're, you've got two things that are providing a strong anabolic signal. And if I could go back in time and do anything different, Nick, I would go back to that three year period of time when I was doing all of that insane fasting and I would have done this. This is because I lifted like crazy during my fasts. I, would, I, I changed my training and I didn't do any cardio and all I did was lift every single day in an effort to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. I really wonder if after all those years of doing it, I could have limited the amount of muscle I lost. What would be your recommendations for people as they think about deploying this as a tactic for themselves? And maybe let's break it out with individuals who are quote unquote normal weight or slightly overweight versus individuals who may be obese. Would your strategy change? in those two scenarios. 